is just a short video to show you how I got round a problem that kept frustrating me for a long time. This is an example graph. I've got um, pupil behaviour types here uh, listed by how many incidents have happened and we've categorised each behaviour type as severe, moderate or minor and as you'd expect I've got it set up on the axis so we have got a hierarchy here so we're at the top level of the hierarchy here with categories there and types underneath it and that means if I click on the drill down option here I will go down a level and it should come up with all the different types of behavior. Each one is categorized along the side there as being minor, major or whatever and whether it's defiance or whether it's disruptive behavior in class is also there. But what I want to do is um, arrange my axis here so it groups them together so that it looks neater than having to put the um, uh, uh, legend if you like uh, at an angle like that. So what I would normally do is I go to the format tab, click on the X axis and if I scroll down here I should find that there is an option that says concatenate labels and if I turn it off I will usually get uh, a much more um, easy to read version of those labels. So it's categorized all these here as being severe, uh, and moderate, and minor. And you can see it's just easier to read if it's in this format. But quite often when I was creating these graphs, I would turn concatenate labels off, but the graph itself wouldn't change. And I couldn't work out exactly why uh, that was not happening, why it wasn't applying this really nice, smart, easy to read format. It was insisting on keeping the format as it was. And it took me ages to figure out why, what was going on there. So, okay, if I just turn uh, turn concatenate labels back on, this is the default view. What I hadn't clocked was that concatenate labels can only work if the x-axis is sorted in the correct way. So, for example, when it wasn't working for me, uh, I realized that the axis sort was, for example, in this case, the count of behavior incidents. So if I, if, I, if I put count of behavior incidents on here, of course, what it will do is it, it will redraw this graph with the behavior incident with the most uh, events associated with it first. And it's at this point that concatenate labels won't, can't work. Uh, and if I try concatenate labels now, of course it doesn't work because the order of this graph means that the minor, the major and severe um, uh, types are all effectively mixed up. Um, they don't look particularly mixed up there, but they are mixed up. So, of course, Power BI could not do what I was asking it to do. And concatenate labels here has no effect because really Power BI cannot concatenate those labels. The only way I can get that to work is to change the sort order here and tell it to sort it by the x-axis um, labels there. So I've got type uh, categories there along the side there. So as soon as I do that, of course, now it can concatenate or not concatenate the labels. And it does what I expect it to do. So that's how you can solve that particular problem. Hope that's helped.